I've got the sleeves inside my basket here, and uh, for you, quick ball. Oh, oh. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nicely Done TV. Oh, far fetch. A little leak slap action. Uh, uh. Hey Chris, uh, go ahead and open this. Oh, hey, thanks. Ooh, lip tone and a... Oh my god! Nice to see everyone again. Thanks for tuning back in to another episode of Nicely Done TV. Today, I finally got my hands on a Champions Path Elite Trainer box. These were a part, I got two of them, one to keep and one to open up for the channel. Now, I haven't been able to find any pin collections. I completely underestimated this. I knew, I knew that it was gonna be, you know, something special. I knew that it was gonna be sought after. I just didn't think that it would be crazy like this. I'm talking people waiting like for the vendors at Walmart and Target to set it on the shelf and then instantly scoop them up. Like a little bit obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. And beyond that, I kind of think the Pokemon company underestimated, you know, the the hype for it. I mean, they did a good job throwing in that shiny uh, V, throwing in the, um, the, uh, the Rainbow Rare Zard, but uh, you know, they, I don't think the first launch was enough, to be honest with you. Um, but beyond that, I know they, there is another relaunch happening in October for the same product, I believe. Don't don't misquote me. Um, I did a little bit of a research, but I'm pretty sure it's going to contain um, the first wave. So the ETBs, I know they'll have more ETBs out, and I believe the, the, they'll do a relaunch on the pin collections. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below. But I've spoken way too much. I finally got my hands on this Elite Trainer box. So we're going to go ahead and bust into it now. Always practice blade discipline. So, something I want to say, the the Shiny Zard and the Rainbow Zard, absolutely craziness, okay? Now, people were selling the, the Shinies for upwards of $2,000. Now, this was pre, uh, this was pre-release. Um, now, since the release has actually happened, the, the, the price on that has dropped significantly. We're talking, I believe, that if we're in the mid-100s, or mid-hundreds, so like $500. I just looked on eBay. Um, the sold listings are there at around uh, five, dollars $600, I think, was the most I saw. Um, but uh, the Rainbow Zard is right there with it, averaging, um, you know, mid-500s to a high of 700 I see right there. Oh yeah, that art inside is awesome. Obstagoon, Dreadnought, Alcremie, Gardevoir, V-Maxim. Oh, that's too dope. I can't, I fun, we finally got Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But yeah, so um, as far as like searching, of course we're searching for the shiny Zard, the rainbow Zard, um, but it does come with a Dreadnought, Gardevoir, Alcremie, a full art hop is in here, which is absolutely cool. So there you can see the uh, the Dreadnought V V Max. There's the Alcremie V Max up top. Um, some good ones. But the uh, we got uh, reprints of um, Marnie, Hollow Rare, and uh, Professor, Professor's Research. There's the, uh, the the full art full art hop, which looks really awesome. I might add. It comes with you know, Rainbow Pearson and Kabu. The Golden Suspicious Food Tin. That's a uh, that's interesting. It's the only. Yes, yeah, the only gold um, in here, making it an 80 card set. It's absolutely awesome, and I believe that every pack will come with a hollow rare or better. I'm almost positive. I believe that that's how they roll. Oh man, but this is an absolute pleasure. There's of course the Pokemon trading card game rules. Cardboard from the inside. Remember to recycle. There's a code card for you for this Elite Trainer box. These awesome sleeves. Oh, just, just got a rebel in. Oh, that's right. Here it is. The Full Art Charizard promo, which is too sweet. Oh, man, that is awesome. 
very, very cool. Switch it to the side real quick. Of course, we get the package of energies, which I'll just sit back there. We've got the dividers. Condition markers. We've got the die, which looks really cool. And then ten packs, I believe. Yep, there's two, there's four, there's six, there's eight, and there's ten. Oh my god. And this is also, I'm a very brave soul. I'm a very brave soul. So we're gonna set the ten packs right here, opening up with the Guard of War. I'm a very brave soul, and I'm gonna tell you why. I recently got my hands, purchased a new mic, the blue, the, the Yeti, um, and I'm testing it out on this video, Brave Soul, on a Champion's Path, the only Champion's Path that I have that I'm willing to open, essentially, uh, and I'm testing out new audio, so this could go extremely wrong, and it'll sound, I mean, I guess it'll sound, you know, semi-decent, just because I have the iPhone going at the same time, so... If the Yeti mic fails, if I don't set it up right, then I will at least have some form of audio, but I'm a brave soul for trying it on this. All right, here we go. First pack. Do a little... Oh, that's glorious. We're starting with the Metal Energy. There's Sharpedo. Leopard, Lipard, whatever you say. Rotom Phone. Pokeball. Sizzle Nizzle Pet. There's Machop. I like that artwork on it. Roly Coley. There's a full heel. A reverse Galarian Obstagoon. And for our first pack, here we go. Bam! Okay, Professor's Research. So nothing too crazy, but a Professor's Research nonetheless. Always welcome in the house. They nicely. Alright, so second pack. Go. Oh, and I didn't give you that first code card. There's the second code card. There's the first right there for you. All right. Four cards up to the front. All oh, water energy, the best energy. We might get something in this pack. There's Arbach. Another Sharpedo. Melamar. Roly Coley. There's Trubbish. All oh, the Volpix. Beautiful Volpix for the collection. A Swablu, Carvana, ooh, Kakuna, and a Machamp, Hollow Rare Folia. So Hollow Rare Machamp, and I do enjoy that artwork too. Very good looking. All right, so here we go. All right, third pack. Oh man. Hopefully that promo is not the only. Charizard that we get in this opening, but even if it is, I'm having fun opening up new Pokemon cards. Sonya, Victini, Absol, Machamp, I mean Machop, sorry, Machop. There's Nick at Night, Kakuna, again, Hatrine, that's a reverse hollow, and a Hatrine, the hollow rare, so doubled up on the hatchings. It's always fun. All right, four packs in. And I believe, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just confirm it now. Uh, there is a hollow rare or better in every pack. Um, now this pack is a small set, only 80 cards in the entire set. That's all it takes is 80 to get every card. That's not, I don't believe that's including the um, the reverses that's just numbered one through 80 and obviously all of these like you know the suspicious food tin will have a reverse um the arbok all you know all these cards will have a reverse hollow rare you know in in it as well so it's almost it's not fully doubled but you, you get what i'm saying all these cards sizzle pet there's the beedrill reverse uncommon and a ooh, 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 something card of war v our first Ulti pull, ultra rare right here. Guard of War V. Getting ready, to do the. I guess it's the. Uh, what do you think that is? The, the the attack. You think that's the magical shot, or do you think that's the swelling pulse? It kind of has like a 
a nice like a vortex kind of I think it's swelling I think that her move right there as shown is the swelling pulse that set you back there guard of war next to that Charizard V which also the Charizard V the promo has gone for um, you know quite some money too I believe uh, sold ratings are like I think the highest one I saw was like 75 I mean I could be wrong but 75 bucks for a you know promo card is that's pretty crazy. I mean 50 20 dollars for a promo card is is you know kind of wild. Absol, there's the beat. Now I do want to say this with as, as far as the BD goes, I would have rather seen um, Boss's Order in this set. Now it doesn't have to replace BD, but like I, I, I would have loved to see a, a reprint of Boss's Order in this set as well. I think that would have been awesome because um, you had the Marnie, you had the uh, Professor's Research, but I think a, a Boss's Order would have been absolutely phenomenal. So Rotom Phone on the reverse and a Marnie, speak of the devil, Marnie right there for us. Hollow Rare. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. We are halfway through. We have five more packs to go. Oh, and right now we are sitting at a one pull. Mm. All right, Electric Energy. There's Machoke, Malamar, Hyper Potion. There's Inke, Pokeball, Purloin, Weedle Claymation, Zigzagoon, Kakuna, and a Scrafty Hollow Rare. So, nothing too exciting yet. Gardevoir V is the only pull as of right now. That is A-OK. -okay. There's the code card for you. Alright. Four to the front. Rocking a Leaf Energy now. There's Absol. Rotom Phone. Hyper Potion. There's Nick at Night. Purloin. Rock Ruff. Vulpix. Zigzagoon. Ooh, a Reverse. Leaf Energy, which is awesome and a lichen rock hollow rare i do thoroughly enjoy reverse energies i do collect those as well because they are pretty in my eyes don't ask me why but i like them i enjoy it i enjoy shines all right code card right there for you four dark energy b drill i'm gonna choke Rotom Bike, Zigzagoon, there's Carvana, there's Scraggy, there's Swabu, Hatina, a Reverse, Kabu, and a Grapplock V. So finally another Ultra Rare. I'll take it. I think the Grapplock is actually one of the most common Ultra Rares that you'll find in this set from what I've heard, from what I've seen online, but it's all good. Two packs remain. And at this point, we've honestly, we've seen about all we can see out of like the, the, um, the, 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 the uncommons and the, and, and the common cards. Um, it's like I said, it's, it is, you know, I think to date one of the, sh the smallest sets, um, you know, one of the smallest sets that I've personally seen and or know about. There's the hop. First time seeing him though. Um, Pokemon, or yeah, Pokemon Center Lady. Yep, so with, you know, 80 cards deep, it is definitely very, very small. Great ball and an Obstagoon. Galarian Obstagoon, hollow rare. This is the very last pack out of my Elite Trainer box. 10 packs up, 10 packs down. We've got two ultra rare hits. Can we get lucky on the last? There is your code card right there. Oh, sniff for good luck for the road. Here we go. All right, Steel Energy, Team Yell Grunt. Move that potion over. Pokemon Center Lady, Great Ball Potion. Wow, that was an item trainer heavy pack. There's Weedle Claymation, Pokeball, a Santa Scorch Reverse, and Machamp Hollow Rare. So. Do a little recap for ya. Alright. The hollow rares we have, I'll show them. We had a Machamp, an Obstagoon, Lycan Rock, a Scrafty, a Marnie, a Trina, a Machamp, 
research, and we pulled the Graplock V, Ultra Rare, the Guard of War V, and of course our Charizard V promo card right there. Well, everyone, that does it for today's episode. I want to thank you for hanging in there with me, sticking with me, having fun with me, watching me open up Pokemon cards because it's awesome. I like it. Who would? But I hope you got your hands on some Champions Path. It is extremely hard to find, but again, stick in there. We've got more releases coming up in October, another um, re-release type of deal, another wave of the first waves, right? Another wave of the first wave second launch, whatever. You get what I'm saying. There's going to be more ETPs. There'll be more pin packs with new Champion Path product coming out. So just stick in there. Check the scores. I hope you get some. That's going to do it for me. Stay safe. Stay strong. I am out. <laughs>